Okay, so I'm here with Mark Smith. He's a licensed insurance broker, and we're here to talk about how property managers and insurance companies work together. So Mark, as you know, Parallel Markets manages and maintains rental properties in the greater Calgary area. And so I just want to talk with you about things that uh, we should be aware of, things that our clients should be aware of, and things that their clients should be aware of. So those are the tenants ultimately. So if you have any thoughts for us, we'd just love to hear that. Well, I think that it's important. There are a few uh, general rules of thumb when, it, when you look to rent your property and make sure that you're properly covered and protected. Uh, at the end of the day, insurance is there to protect against the unknown. Okay. Uh, so we don't know what's going to happen, but we want to make sure that uh, if anything does happen, that you're properly covered uh, and money's not coming out of your pocket necessarily to pay for those damages. Perfect. Uh, so a few things to, to be aware of. Um, I, I sort of have a top five uh, tip top list. Top five? Is that like the top ten? Top, or top, well, we're going to do top five. <laughs> okay. Um, so the important thing to remember too is for the property renters, so for the homeowner, it is important to make sure that you let your insurance company know that you plan on renting that property. Uh, that is a different type of insurance than a homeowner's policy. Now we've had issues with this, Mark, where we've had tenants, or sorry, uh, an owner who will um, rent out their place and they won't tell their insurance company that they're now using it as a rental premises. And we've actually seen where, uh, you know, when there was a, a damage and the insurance didn't cover it because they said, hey, you have tenants, you never told us. So and that's, that's exactly really it. Point. With, with insurance, it's all about disclosure and making sure the insurance company knows so that they can properly price in any risk that's associated with that. Okay. Um, so that is what we might call a landlord um, policy. Okay. And that is simply a, a, a different than a homeowner in the sense that it is deemed as a second rental property. So it's not your primary residence anymore it's a secondary property mm -hmm. um, the other thing to make sure as the homeowner is to make sure that you're you're actually renting to tenants that have and maintain tenants insurance right uh, <clears throat> it's very important that maintaining part mm -hmm. is very main is very important because it's very easy for a tenant to show that they have insurance and then turn around cancel it the next day yeah uh, and then should any damage happen, it ultimately would, would fall back onto the homeowner yeah, and so their policy. The way, the way that we try to protect from that is that our lease clearly states that you must have and maintain your tenant insurance. Now there's no way I can you know, sort of go to their house and check their insurance every day to make sure they have it, but in terms of contractually speaking, the agreement is that if you're signing this lease, you have tenant insurance. And ultimately, you can't protect against every type of misrepresentation out there, uh, but all you can do is, is put it in writing, make sure it's in writing, and that um, if if there's ever an issue, whether with insurance companies or a court of law, um, they're always going to favor on the side of it in writing versus right. not, not being so. So uh, just make sure that you protect yourself and, like I said, have it in writing. Um, so the number four um, tip that I could say is uh, check on your property. Make regular visits. Uh, make sure it's being used for the purpose that it's being used for. Um, you know, it's, it doesn't become a grow up. Um, <laughs> or, that, yeah. yeah um, or, you know, you don't have uh, cars sitting in the front lawn on cinder blocks or anything like that. Um, that is just well maintained. Um, the lawn is cut, the, the roof looks good, yeah. siding's not blown off, that sort of thing. Uh, so just, yeah, perform regular visits on the property. Just make sure it's, it's in the state that you left it. Okay. Uh, so number three might be that um, uh, very common, especially in Calgary, in Alberta, a lot of people are uh, off regular employment, so they might be starting a home business. Um, so it's very important that clients, your tenants let you know if they're running a business from the property. Right. Uh, and it's also important within that tenant's insurance that they make sure they let their insurance company know that they're running a business from that property right. because there is additional coverage that's required. Uh, depending on the type of business. Yeah, our lease actually specifically states that you cannot run a business from home unless you have explicit permission because that, then you run into zoning issues with the city and you run into extra parking problems and it's just something that we need to be aware of. So that's something that we check on for all of our clients. Perfect. So number four that we might want to take a look at, tip yeah. number four, is if, if the homeowner allows pets in, in the rental agreement. Um, for the most part, those are going to be dogs or cats. So what we're going to want to make sure is that the pet are, are secure, whether in the house or in the yard. Uh, in the case of a dog, you might want to make sure the dog, if it's running around the backyard, 
it can't get out. Right. Um, one thing you want to be aware of is with any with any animals, there's there's a risk of getting into somebody else's property. Um, we've heard of we've heard of animals biting people crossing the streets, biting the mailman. Yeah. Um, so you're going to want to make sure that the tenant has proper coverage for that, making sure that they have a liability in place. Okay, I didn't um, realize you could ensure that. Yeah. yeah. So they just want to make sure that they have proper liability coverage on their tenant's policy uh, to make sure that. It covers off any of those costs, and it's okay. not something that will necessarily come back on the homeowner. Yeah. Uh, and number five, uh, considering we're coming up to the holidays, is make sure that you do check your properties if you're planning on going away for um, for an extended period of time. And actually, this is more geared towards the tenants. It's not actually the responsibility of the homeowner. It's more the responsibility of the tenant. Okay. Uh, very much if, uh, as a homeowner, if you own your own house. Um, you can't leave your house for an extended period of time without making sure that the furnace is on, no pipes are leaking, yeah. no pipes have burst, especially with winter coming. Um, and when you're renting a property, that responsibility falls on the tenant. So if you are fall, if you are planning to leave through the Christmas season for an extended period of time, uh, just make sure you have somebody that's going to do regular checkups on the house just to make sure that there aren't, there's a water on the floor and the, and the uh, furnace is still running. Right. And that is something that Parallel can do. Uh where we can go in and check on your property when you're away for you. So uh, that was a nice setup. Thanks, Mark. <laughs> okay, so I think that was, is that your top five? That, that, that's my top five. Okay. Those, are, those are the things you need to worry about. Very, yeah. very high level. Um, if, uh, if, if anybody has more specific questions in regards to their, their specific situations, uh, our staff in the office would be happy to help. Uh, feel free to give us a call anytime. Okay, so what's your number, website? Uh, yeah, yeah so so you could uh, you could call our office directly at uh, 403-221-7234 okay. um, and I think we're gonna put that number up on the screen in case you missed that sure you will. Um, and uh, yeah just give us a call anybody in the office is uh, uh, we have Tanya and Janice both in the office that are all that are licensed so we've, we've been helping clients for years uh, one of the things that makes us a little bit different is we do know our clients by name you're not phoning a call center um, we do get to know our clients individually, understand their needs individually, so uh, I think that's one of the things that makes us a little different. Okay, and I can attest every interaction I've had with Mark has been um, very personable, very uh, willing to help. He's even coming prepared to help me with this video series. So yeah, I, I found Mark to be very approachable and I think a good asset for anyone who has properties. Or <laughs> You know, I imagine you do quite a range of insurance. What do you do? What types of insurance? Um, well, what we do is we cover off, within the office, we cover off everything from uh, uh, auto insurance, homeowners insurance, tenants insurance, uh, business insurance, uh, life, disability. Uh, we also have uh, have wealth products. So if anybody coming into RSP season, anything like that, uh, we do have the tools and the uh, and the, the product to, to help people through those okay. those things as well. Okay, so this is I'm going to spring this question on Mark because it's not written down anywhere. But uh, Mark. What are two or three things, just so we can get to know you a little bit better, what are two or three things you're grateful for? Two or three things I'm grateful for. Um, I think the first thing I'd be grateful for is, is the career I've chosen, because I get to help, I get to literally help people every day. Okay. Um, whether it's uh, through insurance coverages, uh, help them through retirement planning. Um, it, it's nice to see the, uh, the end result okay. um, because nowadays with a lot of people living paycheck to paycheck uh, it's sometimes tough tough to want to pay those those premiums but at the same time uh, to watch them come out the other side where they know they're protected they know they're they're taken care of uh, like earlier this week we just helped somebody with a life claim um, and the widow was, was extremely grateful for um, the fact that we were able to help them out so I suppose that would be the first thing uh, the second thing would obviously be, be my family, yeah. um, you know, um, and, and quite honestly, the third thing I, uh, I, I, I'm, I'm a, a real pet lover, so I'm, I'm just in love with my little dog. So yeah, <laughs> he's, he's, okay. he's, he's where I spend my spare time with playing with. So okay, um, well, Mark, I think, uh, I think that's some really great information for uh, anyone who might be watching this video on LinkedIn or Instagram or Facebook, however. So yeah, I just want to thank you for your time and uh, thank you for providing some great advice to Parallel and Parallel clients and you know anyone else who might be watching this video. So thanks for your time. Thank you. <laughs>
Okay, yeah. now, will your family know that you ranked your company ahead of them in the gratitude list? Well, I'm gonna see if, uh, yeah, I don't know if I'll show them in this video or not. <laughs> Hopefully they're not on LinkedIn. <laughs> we, can, okay. we can edit that backwards, right? <laughs>